Welcome to the spoken tutorial on importance of vitamin A. In this tutorial, we will learn about role of vitamin A in the body, causes and effects of vitamin A deficiency, recommended intake and food sources. Vitamin A is a fat soluble vitamin. It can be obtained through diet and supplements. Two main forms of vitamin A are found in our food. One is preformed vitamin A, which includes retinol and retinyl ester. It is derived from animal sources. Second form is provitamin A. This includes alpha carotene, beta carotene, and beta. Cryptoxanthin. These are all derived from plant sources. Preformed vitamin A from animal sources is an active form of vitamin A. Whereas provitamin A from plant sources is an inactive form. During digestion, it has to be converted to retinol. Retinol is the active form. 12 micrograms of beta carotene gets converted to 1 microgram of retinol. This conversion occurs in the intestine. It is then absorbed and stored in the liver until required by the body. Vitamin A is essential for many physiological processes. It plays a crucial role in vision and supports proper functioning of the eyes. Vitamin A is also required for the formation of rhodopsin. Rhodopsin is a pigment in the eyes which helps us to see at night. Lack of rhodopsin will cause significantly reduced ability to see in dim light. Vitamin A is important for the repair and maintenance of the skin. It also supports cell growth and division. It plays a critical role in the formation and maintenance of various organs. For example, heart, lungs, kidneys, etc. Vitamin A acts as an antioxidant as well. Antioxidants protect our cells from damage by free radicals. Free radicals are naturally produced in the body. They become harmful when they are excessive in the body. Hence, vitamin A reduces the damage caused by free radicals. Vitamin A has other roles in the body too. It maintains the strength and function of all the tissues and organs, such as the skin, lining of the respiratory tract, gut, inner ear and eye. Maintaining a healthy immune system is another such example. Vitamin A is crucial for newborn health as well. It helps the babies in the development and protects them from infections. Cholesterol is rich in vitamin A. Cholesterol is the first breast milk produced by a mother soon after delivery. It should be fed to the baby within one hour of delivery. Additional benefits of cholesterol have been explained in another tutorial. Please refer to our website. To know more. Next, we will see the effects of vitamin A deficiency in our body. The most common effect of its deficiency is xerophthalmia. It is a group of eye diseases which occur due to vitamin A deficiency. Its symptoms progress in various stages. The first symptom is night blindness. In this condition, the vision is normal during the day. It becomes difficult to see at night or under low 
light conditions. As the deficiency progresses, the eyes become dry, dull and wrinkled. Another specific indication of this deficiency is bite out spots. These are irregular shaped foamy substances appearing on the corner of the eye. All these signs point out to a long-standing deficiency. Let us look at signs of a severe and sudden onset of vitamin A deficiency. The cornea becomes dry which leads to loss of tears and loss of mucus. Cornea is the transparent part which covers the black part of the eye. If this is not treated properly, it can lead to corneal ulcer. Ulcers can appear on the cornea and eyes become inflamed. The most severe form of deficiency is keratomalacia. In this, more than one third of the cornea gets affected. The whole cornea becomes thick and then melts away. It is important to know about these symptoms of vitamin A deficiency. In later stages, when symptoms become severe, there is a risk of becoming blind. The risk of death is also high in such cases. Another major consequence is an increased risk of severe infections. For example, diarrhea and measles. Infection further increases the body's demand for vitamin A. This makes the deficiency get worse. As a result, a vicious cycle of deficiency and infection occurs. Immunity also gets impaired due to deficiency. Those with vitamin A deficiency are also at a risk of anemia. Fatigue and stunted growth can occur. Dry hair, dry skin and pimples are other signs of vitamin A deficiency. Deficiency in pregnant women can result in preterm deliveries. It can also result in low birth weight babies and birth defects in them. There is also a risk of reduced stores of vitamin A in newborn infants. Let us look at some factors which can increase the risk of vitamin A deficiency. First is the inadequate intake of vitamin A rich foods. Another factor is inadequate intake and absorption of fat. Hence, people with intestinal and pancreatic diseases are at a risk. Those with liver diseases are also at a risk of deficiency. Liver diseases impair the capacity to store and release vitamin A in the body. Children Pregnant and lactating women are at a risk of deficiency. This is because their requirements for vitamin A are high. To avoid deficiency, regular intake of adequate vitamin A is necessary. 1 to 3 year old children should get 390 micrograms per day. 4 to 9 year old children should get 510 to 630 micrograms per day, 770 to 860 micrograms per day is recommended for adolescents. For adult women and men, 840 and 1000 micrograms per day is recommended. The same is recommended for elderly men and women above 50 years of age. Pregnant and lactating women should take 900 to 950 micrograms per day. Let us look at the food sources of vitamin A. There are two main sources of vitamin A, animal source and plant source. 
In animal sources, vitamin A is found as retinol, which is the active form. Goat and chicken liver are excellent sources of vitamin A. One small bowl of goat liver has 15,655 micrograms of retinol. Two chicken livers have 3,486 micrograms. Egg yolks are also rich in vitamin A. Two egg yolks have 539 micrograms. Two tablespoons of butter has around 250 micrograms. 50 grams of cheddar cheese has about 300 micrograms. 100 grams of fresh cream has 400 micrograms. Plant food sources contain vitamin A in the form of carotenoids. Green leafy vegetables are excellent sources. For example, leaves of drumstick, amaranth, fenugreek, agathi. 100 grams of drumstick leaves has 17,542 micrograms. 100 grams of fenugreek leaves has 9,254 micrograms. 100 grams of amaranth leaves has around 8,553 micrograms. Other foods rich in beta-carotene are mangoes, papaya, apricot and oranges. One mango has around 300 micrograms. One bowl of papaya has 115 micrograms. Along with intake, proper absorption is important too. Note that retinol is easily absorbed in the body as compared to carotenoids. This means vitamin A from animal sources is better absorbed and stored. It is also utilized better as it does not have to get converted to active form. All the sources of vitamin A need some fat in the diet for proper absorption. It also facilitates better conversion of inactive form to active form. Hence, it is important to include good quality fats in your diet. For example, butter, pure ghee, fish, eggs, nuts and seeds. Include all these foods in your diet for good health. This brings us to the end of the tutorial. Thanks for joining.